Welcome everyone to Hard Talk Light Session. Toastmasters is the well-known public speaking and leadership organization in the world. It has over 300,000 members across 126 countries. Today, we have a special guest, Bruce Hill. He has been a member of Toastmasters for 23 years and currently is one of the top Toastmasters figures in Australia. He was the past governor and currently the club extension chair of District 73, which covers Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania. More so, he has received the Distinguished Toastmaster, the highest recognition of ranking in the Toastmasters hierarchy. Currently, he meets with managers and HRs to part the information how Toastmasters benefit the employees. And for today's talk, we'll be focusing more about how Toastmasters can benefit you. Welcome, Bruce, to the studio. Thank you, Dinesh. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Bruce. Today, let's start with a very quick question. How did you come to know about Toastmasters? Well, I guess like everybody else, I walked into a Toastmasters club for the first time because somebody invited me. Somebody asked me to come along to a club meeting. It was one of my work colleagues. And I went into a Toastmasters meeting not knowing what to expect. And I've stuck it out, I've stayed, and I've really benefited from the Toastmasters program over the years. Bruce, as we mentioned, that you have been a member for past 23 years. Could you explain to us what are the benefits of Toastmasters that personally impacted you? When I first joined Toastmasters, Dinesh, I could not speak without using notes. And as you can see today, I'm not using notes. I could not do that. It was just an impossibility. I had to read all of my speech and I had very limited hand gestures. I could move one arm up and down. Is about all. But I've changed, I've grown, I've developed. And I'm continuing to grow and develop in Toastmasters. You never stop learning in Toastmasters. What are the misconceptions we have today? Is Toastmasters equals public speaking? No doubt about that, it is correct. However, could you explain the other parts of Toastmasters that could benefit the general public? Certainly, Dinesh. Toastmasters has two streams. There's the communication stream and the leadership stream. And these streams work side by side in the Toastmasters program. To be a leader, one needs to be able to communicate, and so the public speaking side is very important. But Toastmasters allows you to develop leader skill, leadership skills, how to lead a meeting, how to facilitate, how to delegate. And when I first joined Toastmasters, I never dreamt that one day I would be a district governor in charge of all of the clubs at that stage in Western Australia, South Australia and Victoria and Tasmania. And I had to delegate, which was a skill which was difficult for me because, well, I can always do things better than anybody else. However, I learned that the, the best way to achieve results is to be able to delegate effectively. And this was one of the, the key skills which I learned, the key leadership skill, which I developed in Toastmasters. But there have been many other leadership skills, time management is another one. So stopping at this point, we have already examined how you already evolved from being a member to today talking to the big shots in companies and organizations to part the benefits of the Toastmaster. When you talk to managers or HRs, do you notice any particular gaps among the potential members where Toastmasters could step in and fill in? Are there any public speaking gaps or leadership gaps or anything in particular? Well, quite often, people in companies have difficulty in getting up in front of a group in a meeting and speaking and being able to express their point of view. And that's important within a company, to, to be able to have their staff participate fully in meetings, to be able to run meetings. These are skills which these people can develop in Toastmasters. And that is really a gap that many companies perceive and when I talk to managers and HR people within 
organisations, I talk about the benefits of Toastmasters to their company, to their organisation, how it's going to benefit by their staff being able to give better presentations to management or their staff to be able to give better presentations to clients and how that they can practice these in a safe environment within Toastmasters, get feedback about how they can improve upon them and then when they present them to the manager or to the client, it's a much better presentation than what would have been provided otherwise. That's a very good point that you raised. Having said that, I've been doing some particular research. While Toastmasters is very good for actually improving people's public speaking skills, I have read that through the experience of Toastmasters, members do lose their individuality of speaking of their own style. I feel that, according to the research, that they tend to conform to the style of the members. Do you think Toastmasters sacrifice the individuality of the speaker? No, I, I disagree with that because I believe Toastmasters enables you to develop your individual style to the way you want to be. It, it's about you setting your goals and developing into the person that you want to be. It's not about making you, putting you into a mould and saying, you know, this is the way you will come out at the end. Clearly we need to, to the, the similar skills are being developed, but in Toastmasters you can achieve all kinds of things. You can branch out into different aspects of speaking, such as storytelling, speeches for management, technical speeches, whatever kind of speeches that you want to do, you can develop those skills. Bruce, we have a few more moments before we wrap up this session. Is there any final words that would you like to give us about the benefits that Toastmasters can impart to our Well, I believe that every person can benefit from being able to communicate better, being able to present their point of view, being put on the spot and being able to give a response to a question that's asked of them. Communication is one of the keys to success in life. And so, so Bruce, we yeah. have to wrap the session, but that's a very good point. Communication is the key to success of our family. That wraps up our session today. Thank you very much, Bruce, for being, with, sure. being with us. In our next Hard Talk Light, Hard Talk Light session, we will be interviewing someone. What is like to be the president? See you soon.